There's just so much traffic out here, just in Pennsylvania, man. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, Zay Guy Gaming TV. Grand Rising, Grand Rising, Grand Rising. Welcome back to another video. Glow Life for Zay, aka Zay. And right now we out here in North Omaha, Nebraska, guys. Your boy made it here last night, but it was just too dark to try to film anything. Your boy has slept in the back, you know, on the side of the building. But you know, the good thing is, your boy in the dock, we getting unloaded. And ain't nothing too much to complain about, other than we finna be, we got two, got two more stops that we gotta go to. The other stop is probably like 11 miles away. Then the next stop is like, I'm not even sure, but I think it's like 100 and something miles away, like 101 miles or 110 miles. But you know, I have to use the address that's on these packages, like right here. I got them in order only because, you know, you don't really want to go out of order because you'll be lost. So with that being said, yeah, guys, we getting unloaded, but when I get unloaded, where, where I'm at right now, we probably still got like 30 minutes that we had a full reset for 10 hours because you know it was pretty late when I got done guys it was around like 10 something and I'm thinking we an hour ahead we ain't an hour ahead it's still the same time because we st still like part of the Midwest I don't know what I was thinking about but as soon as I got here it was the exact time that I said I was going to be here 10 19 then it ended up being like 10 23 24 around that time and you know, it's just what it is. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you subscribe to the channel already, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Make sure y'all spread the word. Um, if you got a truck driver in your family, make sure y'all post my videos, share the videos on their page. So, you know, they can hit that subscribe button because, you know, your boy trying to grow his channel and be in the algorithm so, you know, y'all see what's going on. I don't know if y'all know, but I told myself, and I told y'all in that video before, like once I had 500 subscribers, I'm gonna do a giveaway. You know, just to get show y'all that, you know, I rock with y'all as far as my subscribers. So with that being said, I see y'all in a minute, man. Make sure y'all tune in. All right, y'all, we finally unloaded. You see how I say 2038, that's how you know we got it. That's what goes, comes off on the next stop. And right now I'm finna put this low locking up just so we don't have none shifting while we drive to the next place and just like that yeah 20 more minutes to actually get there and then we gotta travel at exactly 11 miles but remember we got 17 minutes right now to actually really start driving driving so what i'm gonna do is like i told you put that low lock on so we can make sure there ain't none shifting while we driving and then next thing you know the video i made yesterday that y'all finna see today I'm finna make that thumbnail, so, you know, upload it, so I'm yeah, staying tuned to the videos. But if you, just like that, let me get back to work, and I'll see y'all in a second.
5.4 miles, 10 minutes. When you get there at 9.12, but you know, appointment time is at 9.20. But I was just on the internet, you know, just trying to see some images of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. It's a lot of history out here. I'm gonna have to do some research on Nebraska back in the day just to see what it was like back in the day. Only because it's a lot of like black history. And from what I'm seeing, could have looked like it could have been a little slavery over here, but I ain't trying to say it like that. But it just, I gotta do some research on Nebraska. I didn't even think it was that many black folks out here. Because every time I went to Nebraska, I, I seen a lot of white folks. Not saying I'm racist or anything, but that's just what it was. So, with that being said, yeah, we everywhere around the globe, especially in the United States. It's very diverse, diverse, I'll put it like that. Black people, white people everywhere, and foreigners everywhere. So. I just got to do some research on the brass because I ain't think it was like that. Other than that, I see y'all next time. Y'all see this trailer getting empty and empty. We finna head to our last stop, which is like 101 miles away. So it's probably like two, two and a half hour drive to be exact. And y'all see how they wrap this stuff? Only in Petsmart, that's how they wrap stuff. But I guess they always put the heavy stuff at the bottom, then the light stuff at the top. But yeah, that's how they wrapped it, guys. I mean, I'm trying to figure out, do I really need a low lock or what? But I guess I don't. But y'all see what it is. All right, y'all, we leaving. And we finna head to Kearney, Nebraska. We got 180 miles to get there. And we got two hours and 44 minutes to travel. We get there at 1242 noon, which is PM noon, but it's not nighttime. But I don't know what type of load we gonna have next. But I wanna get there. Drop this load on. I'll let y'all know what's going on. Until then, until then, until then, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you subscribe to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. Just like that. That's it, y'all.
right y'all as y'all can see we is empty and now we already got our next load we're gonna head to uh nestle i guess either another pass mark but we got to take it back to ottawa illinois because you know this is not our current trailer it's like a rental trailer guys so we definitely gotta drop this back off well we got it and then nine times out of ten your boyfriend have to go back to the yard grab our trailer and then head on out but right now i give y'all better details when i actually get back on the truck all right y'all we headed to creek nebraska and we got to go to 2305 east highway 33 to a shipper called nestle purina wet never heard of it but that's where we headed to like i told you we got to take it back to Peshmark, back to where we grab this trailer at which was Ottawa Illinois so with that being said guys yeah we're making a good time Our appointment is at 4 4 p.m. and I already put the address in they said we get that 337 so your boy only got a little bit of time to really stop grab something to eat then get back driving I gotta really see how much I got on my clock to really justify if we gotta be taking a 30 minute break fast but I'm really not sure but hold on so yeah, we ain't gotta take a 30 minute break cause nine times out of 10, like when you driving more than like five hours, doing your first shift for seven hours, then sometimes you get to a ship and you gotta do an unload. Sometimes it take them more than 30 minutes to unload. Sometimes I automatically do your 30 minute break for you. Sometimes you're not even able to eat, but you know, your boy finna stop grabbing something to eat, like I said earlier. But we only got seven hours and 21 minutes left of a drive, a break and a ship just for today, guys. So with that being said, Let's get straight to it. We got no time to wait.
one eternity later. Alright y'all, we is here. Now the thing is, we finna be switching trailers. So this trailer that, that y'all seen me with earlier that say Panther on the side, we dropping the head gas all the way out here in Nebraska. And then we gonna take a loaded trailer that's in door 27 that we was assigned to because they said they not, they run a little behind schedule. So we was on time anyway. So with that being said, we finna have to go park in front of that trailer and wait till it get done. Then we could use the skill, which is this, so we could weigh our load. And then we gotta type these numbers in. Y'all get the point. But do that, see how much our load weight. So when we leave, we can know how much we actually weigh versus not knowing exactly how much we weigh. Cause you know, it's never good to really not know what, how much your uh, load weight. But we gotta drop this load. And right now we just in the empty yard empty yard and really ain't nothing to look at. But other than that, I'll see y'all in a second. All right, y'all, as y'all can see, we got the new trailer, 803727. You know, your boy Pillar 53's drive-ins. You know, I used to do flatbed, but as you can see, my trailer not ready yet because we got the red light. It say pull in or out on green only. So with that being said, you can't never move the trailer unless you get the green light. And sometimes you always want to double check before you just move on the green light anyway. So with that being said, guys, we, we here. We just waiting to get loaded. Then I don't know if y'all can tell, but we're going to have to slide our tandems up to about like right here. So when we leave, we can be legal weight instead of having the trailer wheels all the way in the back like it is right now. It's best to slide your tandems to the back when you're doing drive-in. Because 9 times out of 10, it's mandatory, guys. So with that being said, do it right the first time, so you ain't got to do it the second time. All right, y'all. As y'all see, we got a box of puppy snacks. Whatever you can see. Probably like some canned goods for cats. Yeah, guys, that's what it is. But just like that, we out of here. Just like that, I'm gone. Peace and love and happiness. Y'all be gods and be goddesses.